Welcome everyone to Broken Tower Readout, just east of Sundered Towers. Hope you're having a great day and thank you for joining me as always. North of Rebels Cairn and south of the likes of Cliffside Retreat and Chillwind Depths. Uh, very close to Dragon's Bridge and Carfaston. Now when you're walking down the road you will see what looks like a rather intimidating Forsworn Fort. That's because it is. There is a lot of uh, Forsworn in the area and it appears I have a both both Heathian, Bothian, cultist, yeah, can you, you, you'll just stay away from me, right? Okay, for the purposes of the video, ignore him. He does not exist. So yes, there is about a dozen, maybe, maybe more, I'm probably being really generous, uh, Forsworn in this fortress. We will find several skill books, including a statue of Diabella, and just lots of general loot. So, without further ado, going right in here to the bottom room, you'll find a potion of vigorous healing and lots of Nord Mead. Must be the wee stash. Over on a table over here, we'll find a loot. There's also a second loot in the final room, so uh, bear that in mind. If, uh, if you're looking at a loot, yeah, there's two here. Right up here, you can find a few alto wines, which signify where the statue of Diabella is. Quite useful for several quest lines, so uh, bear that in mind too. Going on around the corner here, passing a few more Forsworn, you can open this door, and you will enter into a traps room. Now, pressing here will just absolutely ruin your day with... Probably one of the few traps in Skyrim I was actually scared of and did give me nightmares because there's not a hell of a lot that you can do to survive that impact. Going straight into this room here, turning over to the left, you can find the Murrah. The Murrah gives you plus one to block and everyone loves a plus one to any skill in Skyrim. Frenzy Potion, Alto Wine, Strong Box that is sadly empty. We satchel up here. And uh, there's plenty of items on each of these tables here. We ring, gold purse, alongside novice chest, few wardrobes. So be sure to just raid the bedrooms. Now you can go round either way. Um, it just forms a wee circle here. I think the far exit takes me out to Skyrim. So out to the wee balcony on the second floor. But we don't want to go there just yet. We want to go through here instead. Going into another chamber. Actually, just above the main entrance that we uh, came in. Also, more Alto Wine and a Potion of Magicka. These, uh, these Forsworn had quite quite the amount of alcohol sitting about. Let's see what we have in here. I think this is where you go up the stairs. Could well be. There's a big cheese wheel. Big goat cheese wheel. Flute, gold, garlic, uh, drum and edder cheese wheel. Now, when you're going up here, do beware... Uh, it will trigger a stone fall trap. On occasion, it has actually killed her several times. So, uh, yeah, useful for dispatching of that Forsworn. Going into here. Another wee bedroom chamber. Several chests, items, potions just littered about the place. Be sure to grab absolutely everything. And a wee tomato soup for your trouble. Spinning back here, we can go up the next level. Taking us... Up to here, where we're going to exit out in the Skyrim in order to get over to the Briarheart, to the ba the final boss of the readout. Uh, yeah, if you exit out that other door, uh, there's just a few Forsworn tents and uh, just various loot sitting about. There's also an armor up there with lots of swords, but we ignored most of them in order to go into the final boss. Now, there are many, many, there's about seven quests that uh, revolve around Broken Tower Readout, including killing the uh, the Briarheart. Uh, there's a guy that'll be caged as well, and I'll show you. He's, he's actually in that cage right there if you're doing the quest. Uh, can't remember his name off the top of my head, but there is a quest that will send you here in order to uh, free him. Reading this will give you plus one to Conjuration, so thank you, Liminal Bridges. Uh, some items around here are quite interesting ones. Uh, weak aversion to frost. Despite the size, they're actually the same size of potion. And uh, into his wee side room, you'll find, oh ho ho, a sweet roll. A few potions and uh, books. Also, in this case, it gave me a silver emerald necklace worth about 800. Not bad at all. Uh, and a few other items. Level dependent items in here. Spell tome for frenzy. Not too bad. And uh, da, 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 a wee bit of a trap on the ground. 
Uh, the aversion to frost probably gives you an idea. He does throw some frost spells. I'm going to dispatch of him so we can get the key off him. Uh, he is uh, slightly tougher than I thought he would be. I do need to upgrade my weapons. In fact, let's let us use Red Eagle's Bane. You all remember this from Rebel's Kern when I killed, uh, well, the ghost of Skyrim Explored killed the uh, the legendary Red Eagle warrior. Upon killing him, you'll get the Briarheart, the Broken Tower Prison Key, and uh, just random items that he has on him. The Ebony Dagger seems to be pretty consistent, so I imagine it's on him most of the time. Also, we Shrine of uh, Diabella, if you want to uh, get the, the Blessing. I forget what her Blessing actually does. Um, is that it? No, it's the Lady Stone. Where is Blessing of Diabella plus 10 to Speechcraft? Okay. And unlocking this can free uh, whatever character you, uh, you've been sent here on the quest. Sometimes it is just to kill him and there is no one about, so getting the key doesn't really matter too much. Uh, but yeah, that is Broken Tower Readout done and dusted. So uh, thanks for joining me, uh, especially to all viewers, subscribers, and people that have bought the Skyrim Explored merch. Thank you so much for enabling me to do this daily. I enjoy doing the content and getting ideas and uh, just wanted to give a special, thank, uh, special thanks to uh, all of you. Have a great evening, morning, afternoon, wherever you are and I uh, hope to see you in a future video. See you there. Bye-bye.